government on various initiatives over the last many years. When the state was formed, we worked very closely with the state government. Throughout the CII, government of Uttarakhand joined task force in the areas of policy making and attracting investments. We are active proponents of the planned industrial development approach that the state government took and it has led to a creation of world class integrated industrial estates in this. And we are also very proud of being part of this over the last many years. The task of promoting industry in Uttarakhand, which had virtually zero industrial base to start with a few years back, was indeed very challenging. But together, working in a partnership mode, the state did extremely well and has made a mark on the industrial map of India. The state government took the inputs from industry positively and introduced number of industry-friendly policies, such as the single window clearance system, which makes it easier for businesses to obtain necessary permits and approvals. Government is now envisioning a double digit growth and we are looking at uh, a growth rate of sorry 15% over the year on year and doubling the GDP in the next five years, uh, which obviously involves uh, all of us working together towards that goal. We need to, to, we need to work towards further strengthening the competitiveness of the state and at this important juncture, we would like to offer all our support to ensuring that the economy of the state continues to flourish. The state government is already investing heavily in infrastructure development including roads, railways and airports. This will improve connectivity and make it easier for businesses to operate in the state. Uttarakhand is a land of opportunity for investors. The state government has put in place a number of policies and initiatives to attract investment and promote industrial growth. CII had the privilege of working closely with the state government as the national partner, partner for Uttarakhand Investor Summit in 2018. And this year too, we are exclusive national industry partner for the Uttarakhand Global Investor Summit 2023. Let me assure that CII will provide its full support to the, this important initiative and attractive uh, and attract investing uh, good investments in the state. I would l once again like to thank Honorable Chief Minister, sir, for giving CII and me an opportunity to share our more than eight, 19 years of wonderful association. And uh, wonderful journey with industry stakeholders who may consider this holy place as a land of opportunity. I wish this endeavor a lot of success. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir, for setting the context. May I now invite Dr. R. Minakshi Sundaram, Secretary, to Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Uttarakhand, for delivering a keynote address. Please, everybody, give a big hand for him. Honorable Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, my colleagues in the Uttarakhand State Administration and respected gathering. First of all, I would like to welcome all of you for this uh, first domestic roadshow of the Uttarakhand Global Investor Meet 2023. Hopefully, we are uh, starting here on a very positive note. I want to quote a few words spoken by the Honorable Prime Minister and then our Honorable Chief Minister, which motivated us to go for this uh, global investor meet. Honorable Pre Prime Minister had given a motivational line for us that the third decade of the 21st century will belong to Uttarakhand. Following up on that, our Honorable Chief Minister had told 2025 the year 2025, we will complete 25 years of our existence. The state was created in the year 2000. So when we reach 25 years of our existence, we'll have to make a economically strong state. And our Honorable Prime Minister had uh, given a target of $5 trillion economy for the country to achieve. And for this target to be achieved, every state has to 
come forward and uh, increase their size of economy. So every state has taken a target for itself. And for Uttarakhand, the state government under the leadership of Honorable CM has decided that uh, whatever is the size of economy of Uttarakhand in 2022, in the year 2027, in five years tenure, we will double that size. And this is a very ambitious target. And for that, a lot of efforts are required. So a very challenging task was given to all of us. And working on that, the first thing the state government did was to revise all our policies. So almost 27 new policies were created. Some of them are new policies in a particular sector. Some of them were a better replacement of the earlier policy to ensure the investments are attracted to the maximum to the state. After we did this homework, we decided to go for the global investor meet where we have been trying to make uh, contacts with uh, industries belonging to various trust sectors, not just through the roadshows, but uh, we have a rigorous follow-up once an interest is shown by an investor. And we assure on behalf of the state administration that we are always available for you whenever you decide to contact us for further information or taking it forward, we won't be found wanting. The state also has got some inherent advantages. There are some trust sectors where the state has always been doing well. In manufacturing sector, especially pharmaceuticals, automobiles are our strength, apart from FMCG and food processing. Similarly, energy sector is a trust sector for us. Tourism is a very important sector, horticulture and food processing, then civil aviation. So these are the sectors that uh, we identified as trust sectors where uh, we want to invite maximum investment as possible. The state has also created its land bank, which is almost 6,000 acres of land. We will have a very detailed presentation by my colleague, which will show the various advantages of the state. And we have come out with uh, attractive in incentives for uh, almost all the sectors. The state has come out with a service sector policy where uh, even uh, investments in education, health are all promoted very vigorously. And we must be the only state or maybe one of a few states which are offering capital incentive and uh, other monetary incentives for sectors like education, health and all. And not only that, we, are, we have also identified land parcels to be allocated on priority basis, of course following a procedure. So I request all of you to go through the presentation and then uh, once you have an interest, uh, kindly communicate to us about your interest and we will definitely take it forward. Being a small state has its advantages also. Uh, our Honorable CM, the members of his cabinet and the entire bureaucracy are all easily available for contact and taking it forward. So I request all of you uh, to follow the presentation and then uh, in case of any queries we will be very happy to reply to your queries thank you thank you sir for sharing these informative insights i'm sure the audience is filled with curiosity to learn about the key benefits and incentives offered to the investors today also I would like to inform you of the barcodes that we've kept on the table, on each table. There are two barcodes here. One is to register your intention to invest. 
So once you fill in your information, officials will follow up with you. And the other barcode is for information regarding summit, future events, investable projects and policies. This will land you on the website directly. Now, next day, we have among us some key investors who have been our growth partners in this journey and made significant contribution in employment and wealth generation in Uttarakhand. For that, may I please invite Mr. Gyan Bhadra Kumar, Director, Hydro Business, JSW Energy, to please come on the stage to share his experience with all of us. Please give a big hand, everyone. Senior officials of Uttarakhand, state government, friends from the industry, ladies and gentlemen. I am extremely delighted and honored to participate in this New Delhi Roadshow of Global Investor Summit of Uttarakhand government. I, on behalf of JSW Group, sir, and also on behalf of our chairman, Sri Sajjan Jindalji, would like to convey our sincere gratitude for inviting us to participate in this roadshow. Sir, we have been uh, associated uh, in Uttarakhand, especially with the restoration of uh, prestigious Kidar Dham uh, uh, project. Uh, but in industry, uh, we don't have any presence so far. So investment in hydro pump storage could be our first major uh, industrial investment in the state. Sir, you must appreciate uh, right now India is uh, world's third largest consumer of electricity and we are growing at a very fast pace. During the last decade, we uh, power consumption grew at the rate of, uh, uh, beg your pardon, power demand uh, grew at the rate of almost 6 to 7 percent and the last year, FY23, it grew almost 10.7 percent. To meet this, uh, you know, uh, expanding power demand, so uh, renewable energy has to match up uh, in capacity uh, uh, expansion just to meet this power demand and also to meet the green transition. But to, uh, to cater to this uh, expanding renewable energy, we must have a sub sufficient amount of uh, energy storage in the grid, only then it can, it can sustain. So I am here to convey our commitment of our JSW group to invest and participate in this growth trajectory of hydro pump storage. And I am sure uh, Uttarakhand government has plenty of uh, potential sites of hydro pump storage and uh, uh, which can be developed. And with the keen proactive decisions and policy making by the government of Uttarakhand, uh, I think investors would be very encouraged to come and participate in Uttarakhand in hydro pump storage. And I am sure uh, under the able leadership of Honorable Prime Minister uh, uh, by development of hydro pump storage, it will not only meet the power demand of the state, but will also deliver the energy at an affordable and uh, uh, economical price benefiting the entire citizen of the country. Of, of your state, sir. So with this, once again, I reaffirm our commitment. Uh, we reaffirm, uh, we want to come and invest in Uttarakhand, hydro pump storage scheme, sir. And uh, so thank you for giving us, for giving us this opportunity. And thank you, sir. So I request you to please stay back and thank you for elucidating your understanding of the state's investment uh, ecosystem. This is for the MOU signing. I request you to please come back. And along with sir, I would like to invite on stage Dr. R. Minakshi Sundaram, Secretary to Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Uttarakhand. I request you to please come on the stage, sir. And now again, it's my privilege to once again welcome our Honorable Chief Minister, Uttarakhand Shri Pushkar Singh Dhami Ji. Please give a huge round of applause, everyone. 
We have MOU signing with JSW Energy. It's a moment of celebration, optimism, and excitement. So we should keep raising a cheer for this moment. This is a very special moment. Absolutely. Think of the wonderful opportunities and possibilities that can come about with this partnership. I hope this bond will strengthen the fellowship. May long our friendship and fellowship continue. This MO is worth rupees 15,000 crores. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. So today we have a special screening of the state film that highlights every enthralling aspect of the state. I request all of you to please glue your eyes to the screen and have a look as we present you this very enthralling video. Incredible India, a land of diverse cultures and breathtaking beauty, where traditions meet modernity. Within the mosaic of the nation lies Dev Bhumi Uttarakhand, the picturesque Himalayan state of India with the tranquil temples, the mighty Ganga and exhilarating adventures beckon you to explore its wonders. Uttarakhand has embraced its uniqueness as well as emerged as an economic powerhouse in the country. With proximity to Delhi NCR, Uttarakhand's well-connected road, rail and air infrastructure positions it as a strategic gem in the heart of India. The state embodies the essence of peace to prosperity. The peace of doing business is exemplified by a state-of-the-art single window portal offering more than 200 services attracting investments across various sectors like tourism, Ayush and wellness. Uttarakhand is home to top tourism destinations like the yoga capital Rishikesh, hill stations Masuri and Nenital, winter destinations like Oli and top spiritual locations Chardham and Haridwar. Together, they attract nearly 55 million annual tourists and offer abundant business opportunities in the areas of tourism, Ayush and wellness. This has also helped the state become an appealing destination for hotels and tourism related projects. Pharma, Uttarakhand boasts of over 300 pharmaceutical units catering to 22% of India's generic drugs manufacturing. Health, top healthcare facilities like Max Hospitals and AIMS have a presence in Uttarakhand. Because of its pleasant weather and easy connectivity, the state has abundant opportunities for medical tourists to come and recuperate in the fresh air and pristine climate of Uttarakhand. Education. Apart from playing host to renowned elite K-12 residential schools like Doon School, Wellams, Sherwood, Woodstock, the state also has more than 21 private and 13 government universities like IIT Roorkee and GB Panth University. Food processing. Home to four agroclimatic zones, Uttarakhand's rich bounty of crops, vegetables and fruits have helped create a mammoth of around Rs. 14,000 crore food processing industry in the state. Automobile Uttarakhand has the biggest automobile industrial city in North India, Pantnagar, with major OEMs like Hero Motors, Tata Motors, Bajaj Auto, Ashok Leyland and Mahindra. Uttarakhand contributes to more than 10% of auto components manufacturing in India. Electronics. Helped by the immense presence of BHEL and Defense Electronics, the state has a highly evolved ecosystem for the electronics, EMS and OEM industry. Some of the major players are Voltas, Panasonic, 
Dixon. With a highly developed ecosystem for focused sectors, the state has given further impetus on the ease of doing business by reforming more than 2,000 business compliances. It has also developed world-class industrial infrastructure by hosting more than 10% of top industrial parks of the country. With 27 plus focus policies, 200 plus investable projects, and more than 6,000 acres of government land bank, Kutra Khand is poised to take giant leaps in the golden growth story of the country. This is the destination where businesses thrive in peace to prosperity. The world is coming here. Come to Uttarakhand. Let's build together. I'm sure it has enthralled all the onlookers and after watching a video, one can affirm and assert that Uttarakhand is future ready and sustainable investment destination. And as rightly said by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, that this decade will be the decade of Uttarakhand. So on that note, let's move ahead and may I now please invite Mr. Rohit Meena DG and Commissioner Industries, Government of Uttarakhand, for a detailed presentation on state's investment potential. I request you to please come on the stage. Good afternoon, everyone. So, uh, in the next 15 minutes, we would be talking about what kind of policies we are having, what kind of destination we are talking about. Destination Uttarakhand, that's the name of this uh, investment summit. We are talking about a state who is going to become a destination of investment and for the people, for exploring the Uttarakhand. Yes, we have chosen a very clear cut uh, tagline for us. It says peace to prosperity. It means that we are calling out all the investors that please come and invest in Uttarakhand. We assure, we commit to all of you that your businesses will flourish that too with the peace. So that is our tagline, that is our motto, that is our vision. So that is what we all are talking about. In next 15 minutes, I will talk about why we are talking about Uttarakhand. Uh, this is the most powerful statement with uh, which uh, I feel uh, we can start this presentation that uh, in last two decades, we all seen, uh, we all have seen what kind of growth story India has written. And within India, when we talk about Uttarakhand, it is a signing chapter. So this is the clear cut right kind of a statement which our bailout PM has already said that the third decade of 21st century will belong to Uttarakhand. The clear cut statement says this decade will be the decade of Uttarakhand. I'm sure that kind of commitment, that kind of credibility we are talking about Uttarakhand district. Uh, when uh, we talk about the mandate which has been given to all the administrators uh, in Uttarakhand, uh, we would be having an address from our uh, CM sir, but right now the clear cut mandate which has been given by uh, CM sir to all the administrators that for the investor, the Uttarakhand will either find a way or create a one. That kind of commitment the state is talking about. Uh, when we talk about the economy of Uttarakhand, uh, we are talking about a GDP of 2.87 lakh crore. We are talking about a growth rate of 11.5 percent and at the same time 2.61 lakh per capita GDP. We are also talking about a state which is having 49 percent contribution coming from secondary sector in GSDP and at the same time 41 percent coming from service sector. If I combine both of these factors then we are talking about a state which has 90 percent contribution coming from manufacturing and service sector. That is the characteristic of a developed state. So that kind of the state is Uttarakhand. It is a spiritual capital of the world and at the same time abode to the Himalayas as well as the water bodies which includes Ganga and Yamuna. This is the like uh, this is the uh, image which actually depicts about the Uttarakhand. We all, when we hear this name Uttarakhand, we uh, come out with a picture in our mind where we are talking about the snow-clad Himalayas. So this is something we just wanted to pictureize it. Uttarakhand has become a preferred investment destination in recent uh, times. If I talk about last two decades growth story, we are talking about a state which has grown with double-digit annual growth rate. 
almost 70 percent of this population belong to the working age and at the same time when we are talking about our tagline it says peace to prosperity because we are talking about a state which is having 22 percent lesser crime than the national average i am very proud to say that industries through various surveys it has been found out that the number of days which are lost because of strikes because of workers strike are the least one in uttarakhand in comparison to any of the state at the same time when we talk about Uttarakhand, it is all about the connectivity, strategic uh, location of Uttarakhand. All of our major industrial hubs and the major locations are within the periphery of 2.5 hours to 3 hours connectivity from Delhi. So I am sure most of you ha must have travelled in Delhi traffic area where it must have taken more than 2 hours, 1 and a half hour to reach to this location itself. So the time which has taken from you to come to your home to this location, I am talking about the same time of uh, same time for Uttarakhand, for Dehradun, for Haridwar as well as for the Udham Singh Nagar district. We are having the abundant uh, natural resources and at the same time we have put a lot of efforts to make ease of doing business. We have uh, we have reduced more than 2000 plus business compliances in last seven years because of which we have achieved rankings which says that achievers ranking in leads ranking from government of india at the same time achievers ranking in eodb that is the like top category in every segment itself we are also talking about the when we talk about uh, investment we also need to talk about the world class infrastructure so in industries if i talk about uh, in uh, DPIIT ranking of 40 industrial parks, four of the top industrial parks belong to Uttarakhand. That means almost 10 percentage of the total industrial parks are being hosted in Uttarakhand. We have put up more than 27 plus policies. Our policies are not only forward looking, future one, but at the same time we are talking about developing an ecosystem. We are not talking about just policies, some benefits. We are talking about creating an ecosystem, enabling ecosystem where OEMs, ancillary players and at the same time all kind of infra which includes housing, STP, all these things would be available at one place itself. That is why we don't call our parks as industrial parks, we call it as integrated economic township. In industries if I talk about there are three major policies, one is mega MSME. I would like to give a brief about the PLI top up policy. In last uh, three, four years, Government of India has give, given a PLI of around 2.7 lakh crores. When we talk about Uttarakhand government, we are saying we will give 30 percentage top up over and above what Government of India is providing. So effectively, we are talking about 65 percentage capital subsidy. That means most of your EMIs, we will take care of that. So that kind of risk, our situation would be available for you. When we talk about sectors, we went for end-to-end -end, uh, solution for all sectors. So we came out with our tourism policy, drone policy, service sector policy, Ayush policy and film policy. You can see all these policies are very future uh, looking, forward looking and have end-to-end -end solution for a particular sector. I just want to give a bit of brief about the service sector policy. That is first of its kind of policy in the whole country itself. If we say we usually don't consider services other than tourism and IT as a service sector or as an industry, we are recognizing that that they are also contributing to our economy and a big booster to the economy as well as for the employment. We are looking forward for that policy and at the same time it provides a capital subsidy of around 25 percent. That is one of the highest which you can ever get in anywhere. It, uh, we would be giving uh, a brief about the tourism policy letter. In, uh, obviously, when we are talking about infra, uh, uh, all kind of investment, we also need to put lot of impetus on infrastructure. So in energy side, we have focused on renewable energy and have come out with the pump storage and solar policy. As you have seen, JSW has just signed and exchanged an MOU of around 15,000 crore rupees. There are lot of people who are queuing up to put up their investment for pump storage policy. We are not saying that the government would be the only player who would be providing all kind of this infra. We are looking for private sector participation in infra enabling ecosystem. We have come out with private industrial park policy where a private developer will get around 10 percentage of the development cost, almost 10 lakh rupees per, uh, per acre kind of capital subsidy. We are also putting up our efforts for PM Gati Shakti where we have put up our logistic policy and we are giving a capital subsidy in tune of around 20 percentage. 
we have gone for developing the ecosystem and have come out with the policies for exports startups and public private partnership there are n number of other policies which you can find out on our website i would urge all of you to go through our website it has all kind of things talks about the sectoral strengths policies and gives a end to end solution for for all kind of investments so just have a look on that one we are just giving a small brief of some of the policies not all 27 plus policies which we are talking about uh when we talk about uttarakhand usually people say that it's a himalaya state uh, land scarce it is but it is not that uttarakhand government has developed more than 10000 plus acres of industrial parks in last 23 years at the same time more than 3200 acres industrial park has been developed by the private players so we are talking about 15000 acres of industrial parks developed sold out and an enabling ecosystem it is uh, like all uh, we have developed the particular sector specific uh, industrial parks also and at the same time multi sector specific industrial parks also we are not saying that you come and find out land parcel for yourself we are saying that we have found out the land parcel for you we have developed the investable projects for you that is why we are saying we are future ready and ready for all kind of investment we have identified almost 6500 acre of land parcel government owned which is available with, with us and ready for all kind of investment uh, all the details are available on our website you can just have a look on that uh obviously when we are talking about uh, uh, investment we need to talk about the logistic part i have already talked about the connectivity in connectivity we have vastly improved in the roads railways and airports in airport if i talk about dehradun airport is right now having almost 37 direct to and fro flights at the same time we are also expanding our pantnagar international airport also we are coming out with three uh, two more air strips and at the same time we are also coming out for private heliport heliport policy where uh, private developers would be running and operating uh, heliports on the same way as the airports are being run by the major developers we already have uh, two icds operating in uttarakhand one is in pantnagar another one is kashipur we are also looking for investable project in haridwar for another icd we have come out with state of art online uh, systems we are not only provide the facility uh, we are not only facilitating the investment through our single window we are also trying to go for ease of business for not only for the businesses but for the citizens also we have come out with a single window system through which you can get more than 170 plus licenses and approvals from one location itself we have transparent land of allo uh, allotment system we are not saying that uh, we are just uh, looking for the businesses we all know that like nowadays businesses are putting up lot of focus on hr and hr are our citizens also therefore we are talking about uh, apni sarkar portal through which more than 6 600 plus citizen services can be achieved from one portal itself so that kind of hr enabling system would also be available in case if you put up your investment in uttarakhand we have our industrial growth story a dedicated one it's a role model for all kind of small states and the hilly state uh mo most of the things i have already talked about but one thing i would want to put up uh, focus is on dedicated investment facilitation cell through this cell we would not only provide a single window system but would also provide a relationship manager which would provide all which will hand hold you when you are putting up investment to get all kind of approvals and would take care of all kind of requirements within the state of all the departments uh most of the things uh, in the sectoral side has already been talked about uh, in our ppt but i'm just giving a bit of the glimpse just to give uh, what kind of shining chapter has uttarakhand written in the last 23 years in automobile we have come uh, we have come up as a major destination for investment we already have tata mahindra mahindra yujain bajaj hero lumax tvs everyone is here if we talk about a uh, two wheeler uh, manufacturing plant in that case haridwar already hosts host uh, world's largest two wheeler uh, two wheeler manufacturing plant in the form of the hero in haridwar we are talking about almost 15 percentage contribution coming out from uttarakhand in second uh, in uh, two wheeler manufacturing in india and at the same time we are contributing more than 10 percentage of auto component manufacturing of india we are coming out with lot of policy incentives which uh, which is available on our website to uh, one major project which is coming out uh, in automobile hub is 1000 acre of land parcel in kitchapa 
that would be available for all kind of uh, multi sectoral inv investment as well as for the auto projects uh, in pharmaceutical we are proud that we are very proudful that uh, we are amongst the two uh, amongst the top two uh, pharma manufacturing states in india at the same time we are contributing more than 22 percentage of the national production of generic drugs production through more than 370 manufacturing and ancillary units key players most of the players are already available uh, most of the players are already available in uttarakhand and policies are the same for the industrial side uh, in agri and food processing uh, we 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 are uh, naturally gifted by the god itself we own more than four uh, we own four agri climatic zones which are which provides off season production vegetable uh, production of vegetables and we are able to cater vegetables and fruits to whole of north india through these uh, four agri climatic zone we are number one in production of peaches and plums number two in walnut and pears number three in apple production so that kind of raw material natural resources would be available for all kind of food park available food parks development in uttarakhand we already have two major food parks in uttarakhand one is himalaya one other one is patanjali major players are Nestle, Britannia, Parley, Dabur, ITC, HUL. So you can see all of the major players are already available in Uttarakhand. We are coming out with the two Sri Anna food parks in Uttarakhand where you can come out and would be having a dedicated food park itself. Next in IT and ITS, uh, I would just put up one focus uh, that is the lowest trend for IT spaces. You can see through this graph that Dehradun is having 0.12 US dollar per square per month while if we compare it to Delhi, Bangalore, almost 6 to 50 times that kind of rent, like economical rent is available in Uttarakhand. Major players are uh, like Smart Data, Ramtech, MPS, but in recent times, we all know that post-COVID, uh, like major workforce are nowadays saying that they want to stay closer to their homes. So therefore, a lot of IT players are moving to Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. In that case, destination uh, Uttarakhand, destination Dehradun is ready for all kind of IT investments. In electronics, uh, uh, like we already have a customized package where if you are in, uh, putting up an investment more than 200 crore rupees, in that case we are saying we don't have any policy. We will discuss on the table and we will decide about the benefits. The policy says that the benefits would be shared from whatever you would be providing to our treasury. So that kind of policy is available. I don't think that kind of customized, that kind of like one-to-one -one, uh, discussion made policy would not be available anywhere. So we are pretty much ready for large investments and at the same time we are ready with our large land parcels also. Next one is about the service sector. In service sector, education is a very uh, prime focus sector where we are putting up a lot of impetus this time. Uh, if I talk about uh, service sector, we all know what kind of residential schools which are available in Uttarakhand. I can proudly say that out of top 10 most ranked, uh, if I talk about K-12 education schools in Uttarakhand, in India, 5 out of top 10 would be hosted in Uttarakhand. So 50%. So that kind of energy that kind of ecosystem in the form of like pleasant weather is available in Uttarakhand. We are talking about Dune School, Wood, Woodstock, Wellhams, a, a Asian School. So, and at the same time, we have a customized package for education also, where if you are putting up investment more than 25 crore rupees, you will get more than 25% uh, is capital subsidy. We are also uh, trying to attract uh, like higher education institutes also in Uttarakhand on the similar lines of service sector. In healthcare, uh, we already have major players in the form of Max, Fortis, uh, Medicity. Uh, like all these players are available, uh, already present in Uttarakhand, but we are also looking for medical tourism, for spiritual healing, and uh, different kind of uh, eco resorts uh, for the medical tourism part. We already have Ant Antara and Vana for that one, but we are looking for geriatrics. Uh, care, medical tourism and at the same time for senior citizen living projects also. We have identified projects which you can uh, like uh, uh, see from our website itself. Uh, uh, here I would request for a uh, tourism uh, video. Uttarakhand, a mystical realm endowed with divine presence and abundant natural marvels unfolds before you as a testament to astute planning and visionary governance which offers an exquisite tapestry of experiences that cater to every traveler's deepest desires. Strategically situated near India's capital, New Delhi, Uttarakhand, 
boasts unparalleled connectivity to world class infrastructure last year the state welcomed an astounding 55 million tourists a testament to its magnetic allure uttarakhand's tourism industry is experiencing remarkable growth with a 14% annual increase in international tourist arrivals and a remarkable 34% growth in domestic tourists among india's top 10 tourism states uttarakhand stands out with a substantial 14.6% share of the tourism market The state offers a plethora of adventure activities that draw thrill seekers from across the country and around the world. Rishikesh, known for its highest bungee jumping in India and unique white water rafting experiences, stands out as an adventure hub. Bhimtal boasts India's longest paragliding while Oli features Asia's second longest ropeway. Rishikesh often referred to as the epicenter of Ayush and wellness projects like Ananda and Van offering luxurious authentic ayurvedic experiences enticing global visitors Uttarakhand's lake tourism highlighted by Nainital's serene lakes is a thriving segment of the state's tourism industry Bhimtal Satal and Nokujiatal further enrich the experience offering various recreational activities Uttarakhand boasts several enchanting hill stations Masuri with its lush greenery and colonial charm Munsiari known for its breathtaking Himalayan vistas Lansdowne's serene beauty and Mukteswar's spiritual aura further enhance Uttarakhand's appeal as a hill tourism destination World renowned hotel chains like Taj Radisson Blu Hyatt ITC and more offer unforgettable stays amid the Himalayan splendor. Uttarakhand offers top tier connectivity with world class infrastructure including highways, expressways, airports, heli services and efficient rail links. These transport networks are complemented by all weather routes. The Uttarakhand government officially recognizes tourism as a significant industry by introducing the Uttarakhand Tourism Policy 2023. Uttarakhand's investor friendly environment including ease of doing business and single window clearance system solidifies its status as a preferred investment destination. Moreover, the government offers capital subsidies for hospitality projects and tourism products and services further incentivizing investment. With a goal to double annual tourist arrivals to 70 million by 2030, Uttarakhand beckons as an oasis of opportunity amidst the Himalayan splendor with visionary policies thriving tourism sectors and unparalleled connectivity join us in shaping the future of this enchanting state where your investments can flourish alongside Uttarakhand's promising growth story I don't think uh, I need to talk anything after this video it talks about everything about the policy about the different kind of sectoral strengths which Uttarakhand possesses just one uh, or two things which I want to highlight one is uh, within the policy when we are talking about we are not putting up any cap on that one no state has that kind of the policy if you are putting up a investment of uh, like 200 crore rupees in Uttarakhand in that case you will get a capital subsidy of 100 crores If you are putting up an amusement park in Uttarakhand of 200 crores, you will get whole 200 crore rupees. So without cap, 100 percentage of capital subsidy. So that kind of policy is not available anywhere. We are talking about Uttarakhand Tourism Policy 2023. And at the same time, when I talk about the businesses, Rishikesh is right now the most luxury destination in India. The second uh, ranked uh, destination would be having almost 50 percentage economical rates than Rishikesh. So that kind of luxury and the premium tourism is available. All kind of investment opportunities are available. We have identified uh, around 15 properties for you where you can put up uh, more than 200 crore rupees investment. All these properties are greenfield as well as uh, brownfield investment also. For other investors, we have identified close to 80 uh, uh, investment opportunities where you can put up investment from like 5 crore to 50 crore or 75 crore rupees. So we have we are catering out all the investment starting from 5 crore to 500 uh, 500 crore. So that kind of investable opportunities have been identified in Uttarakhand, and at the same time, as uh, we all say that every place in Uttarakhand itself is a destination. 
uh, we have also identified some of the tourism products which we would be floating uh, uh, we, uh, we would be floating an ui for the same where all of you can participate you can come out with your greenfield project also you would be getting a hundred percentage capital subsidy without any uh, cap on that one I would just like to give you a brief about the Uttarakhand Global Investment 2023. Uh, it, uh, the main event is planned uh, on 8th and 9th of December in FRI. We are putting up a fo uh, focused MOU target of 2.5 lakh crore. We are not saying that we will just sign some uh, MOUs. We are talking about groundbreaking of the, those MOUs. We are pretty much clear that before the main event, we would like to ground more than 25,000 crore rupees of investments in Uttarakhand. This is exactly double of what we received in the last financial year. And we are making a very strong commitment that all of our tenders, all of our processes, everything would be time bound. And we are putting up a target for ourselves for a grounding of 10% of MOUs before the main event itself. Uh, we would also like to thank our industry partners, that is CII and the knowledge partners. Both of them are present here, KPMG and uh, McKinsey. Majority of the events uh, have uh, like uh, logo, curtain raiser events, influencer meet, uh, other things have already happened. But we would also be having six other domestic road shows including this uh, Delhi one, five would also be planned out. We would urge all of you to uh, like spread out the word to your friends and the different investors that Uttarakhand is coming to your, uh, to your city. They can, uh, they can plan it out, they can also partner with us, they can see what kind of what kind of sectoral strengths we have and can experience a different kind of journey here. In the end, I would just uh, like, uh, uh, like to thank our partners in growth. All of them uh, like have put uh, hundreds of crores of investment in Uttarakhand. And in the end, uh, I'm, I just want to say one uh, thing that uh, in a starting we said that why Uttarakhand? I'm sure through this presentation, I'm ending with this line, why not Uttarakhand? Thank you. Thank you, sir, for sharing your experience with all of us. Before I go ahead, I request all of you to please don't forget to scan the barcodes which are kept on the table. One is for the investment Uttarakhand. And to register your intention, all you have to do is just scan it and give your information. Our officials will follow up with you. And we have another barcode where you will land on our website this is for the further information regarding summit, investable projects, and policies. And now next, I would like to invite Mr. Kanishk Jain to share his story with all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, it would be great if we can just give a round of applause, one hand against the other, please. Very good afternoon all. Namaskar. Shri Pushkar Singh Dhami Ji, Honorable Chief Minister of Uttarakhand. Dr. Minakshi Sundaram, Secretary Planning Uttarakhand. Mr. Sachin Kuvre Ji, Secretary for Tourism. Dr. R. Rajesh Kumar Ji, Secretary Health. Mr. Vinay Shankar Pandey Ji, Secretary to or Honorable CM. Mr. Rohit Meena Ji, Director General Industries. Mr. Puneet Kauraji, CIA Delhi State Chair, NMD, Samtel Avionics. Mr. Gyan Bhadra Kumar Ji, JSW Energy. Mr. Sayed Junaid Ji, Group ED, FIL Industries. Dear industry colleagues, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is my proud privilege to congratulate the state government on this initiative of inviting investments in the state of Uttarakhand. And I am extremely overwhelmed to get this opportunity to share our experience on working in this wonderful state. It started way back in the year 2000s when the promoters of Ekams Drugs and Pharmaceuticals were highly drawn towards the city of Haridwar, the holy city of Haridwar in Dev Bhumi, Uttarakhand, which had announced a very lucrative and excellent policy environment with a differentiated excise framework which enabled the companies to become extremely cost competent and enabled their exponential growth. In the year 2004, as the promoters experience say, when they were setting up the plant, they had faced a lot of challenges. 
the industrial area was not at all developed it was a barren land the trans the infrastructure for transportation water electricity etc was still under development which had made it a which had made it difficult for the industry to set up but these difficulties could not survive for long because the people were determined to make it possible and they made it possible uttarakhand had major unemployment challenges back in the year 2004 a farmer graduate was ready to join us as a worker in order to get employed today with the immense support from the government of uttarakhand we have with us more than 10000 employees in uttarakhand itself the people of uttarakhand are simple honest humble and dedicated and hard working within a span of 2 to 3 years the entire ecosystem had changed uttarakhand uttarakhand became a heaven for industries and continues to be with the growing demand and ease of doing business in uttarakhand it enabled us to set up more manufacturing plants in the state to increase capacities we found ease of doing business through transparent tax policies and swift approvals for the projects the cost of setting up uh, operations is fractional as compared to any other city large number of skilled workforce is available considering one of the best engineering and management institutes are present in the state like iit roorkee and i am kashipur on behalf of ecoms i can very well state that ease of doing business in uttarakhand is surely right at the top amongst all the states in the country 2017 onwards saw a great movement upward movement of economy of uttarakhand than the national growth rate even the day day to day working with the government has been very easy since then since 2022 we have seen the way the development has taken place with major infrastructure developments happening in and around the state to further improve connectivity for seamless operations and the quality of thought that is being put in for the excellent policies for tourism msmes startups and logistics at cii we have partnered with the government of uttarakhand for its next phase of growth and cii shall be very happy to assist new investors with everything they require to consider coming into the state the state has always welcomed new industry and with with thorough support and from the government and meaningful policy framework customized specifically for increasing competency it is with the support of the government that we are takeums have been able to chart a success story and present it before you where we used to face difficulties in setting up one plant we have today we have 10 plants in the state of uttarakhand with the immense support of the government we are not native to the state of uttarakhand we are originally from delhi but we have embraced every aspect of the state of uttarakhand because of the quality of life and because the immense the life and nature that is present here it is a very peaceful state thank you once and all honorable chief minister sir for giving us this opportunity and cii an opportunity to share our more than 19 years of rich experience in the state after this you all may consider this dev bhumi land of gods as a land of opportunities as well uttarakhand ek dev bhumi bhi hai aur ab ek karam bhumi bhi hai thank you so much and everyone thank you for this opportunity Thank you, sir. Being vice chairman, CII Uttarakhand, and executive director, Ecom's Drugs and Pharmaceuticals Limited. Your experience was a delight to listen to. Next, we have Mr. Sayyid Junaid Altaf Bukhari, vice chairman, CII JNK and Group, executive director, FIL Industries Private Limited. I request you, sir, to please come on the stage to share your experience with all of us. Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, Shri Pushkar Singh Dami Sahib, all the officials of Uttarakhand government, dear business leaders, ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute honour and privilege for me to be here. 
privilege firstly because i have a personal connect with uttarakhand as you are hearing that uttarakhand is home to some of the finest schools uh, in the country if not the world i am myself a product of education in dehradun so to me being at this forum is first a personal and poignant opportunity for thanking the state in driving a lot of the values with which i have lived in terms of industry we represent new age tourism infrastructure in the country we are pioneers in building aerial roadways that support green and sustainable mobility i will not mince my words in this uttarakhand has been a front runner in supporting this policy in the country in the last few years the support that we have received from the government in fact at all levels of government has been phenomenal i am sure and confident that in the decades to come and as we chart out all the climate goals that india looks to adhere to vis a vis cop uh, cop norms uttarakhand will be a pioneer ropeway tourism supported by large scale tourism infrastructure is the future in terms of driving economies of terrains like uttarakhand i am sure with the state government support this will uh, this will prosper and go a long mile i want to commend the state government on its support in being very flexible in framing policies in new uh, new age industries like ours the dedication patience and perseverance exhibited in a partnership and collaborative approach that we have seen with the government in the last 5 years has been heartwarming to us it has only strengthened our endeavor to push ourselves to deliver to the best of our ability and bring in global infra to uttarakhand we are looking forward very very keenly to investing and partnering with the government we are looking to partner across more sectors including horticulture and food processing and i am sure we will continue getting the same level of support that we have gotten in the last few years i want to mention one small anecdote in terms of an experience share you know policies you know we we have heard a lot of uh, encouraging policies being set up by the government in the last few years with the aim of doubling the gdp of the state i will tell you candidly myself that there was a particular policy vis a vis some of our projects where approvals were not only needed at the state government level they were needed at the highest level of the national government which is government of india the government of uttarakhand worked with us in achieving such approvals to keep its commitment in helping us with a project i think one cannot find a better partner 